I started a new job at an office as a document clerk. Nothing was too exciting about the job, other than free coffee, one-hour lunches, and I got to listen to music on my phone. The ladies that were chatty seemed to gossip so much that sometimes work was left undone. I was starting to get irritated with this, and I walked into the break room to ask for their help. One of the older ladies pulled me aside while, as usual, I heard gossip at the table. She leaned in closer, as if to say something in secret. Have you been to the bathroom? She asked, almost in a whisper. I felt weirded out by the question. Uh, no? Why? I asked her, slightly confused. Well, good, just don't use the last stall, she urged me, almost as if she was warning me of something. A thought flashed in my mind that a disgruntled employee might have trashed it. Just don't. She turned to the other girls, then took her seat to continue in their gossip. One of the girls spoke up about what she just told me. She was a younger employee. Mrs. Gladys, are you advising people not to use the bathroom again? I looked at the younger girl who spoke up. Her arm was very tightly wrapped in a pink cast. I vaguely remember this girl reporting that she got hurt in the lady's bathroom. Yes, but I don't want her to freak out, she said with a grin on her face. Mrs. Gladys motioned for me to come and join them. Okay, what the hell is going on? At that point, I was beyond annoyed. As soon as I asked that question, all of them simultaneously spoke. Don't use the last stall, they pleaded with me. I shrugged it off. The girl with the pink cast waved her good arm at me to stop me before I left the break room. Just be careful. All of us have been slipping and falling in there. The floors are just very slippery. Again, I just shrugged off what the younger girl said. Later that day, as I finished filing, I left for the ladies' room. Whatever my co-workers discussed in the break room, I had dismissed as a joke. I walked into the cold bathroom, then leaned all the way over, as if I were touching my toes. I looked at the empty spaces between the stalls, and saw no feet. I used the last stall, and finished quickly. Just as I walked out of the stall, I felt like someone put their foot out in front of me, and I tripped. I met the cold, hard bathroom floor with a thud. What the hell? I stood up, ignoring my sore side where I had fallen, and observed the floor. No water? Nothing? I walked back to the stall, as if I was going in again. But as I left, I fell right on my ass again. This is a trip! I thought, and I meant that literally. Mrs. Gladys walked in to see me sitting on the bathroom floor. She crouched down to help me up. Her face showed a look of concern as she helped me to my feet. Look, you have to leave the stall like this. She walked in the last stall and proceeded to tiptoe around something. She then leapt over the spot where I had tripped. She didn't fall. At that moment, I felt stupid puzzled and clueless. Okay, but there's nothing there, so what the hell is going on? I asked in frustration. See, the thing is, if I told you, just like the others, you would think I'm full of it. Honey, trust me and believe me. Mrs. Gladys stood before the bathroom mirror, tidying up her updo. Yeah? I looked to her as if she lost her mind. She was right, because I still had no clue what was going on. The thing is, only I can see it, and it's always in this spot. Mrs. Gladys reached into her back pocket and handed me her cell phone. Here, stand a little ways back and snap a picture. You'll understand what I mean. She urged me near the bathroom entrance. She spun me around to face the spot with her cell cam on. I snapped the photo without flash. She then browses through her recent photos. I took one look at the photo out of curiosity. I jumped back at the sight of the image while I held my hand in front of my mouth to keep from screaming. Hunched over in this spot was this 
fucking hell, I couldn't describe it. You see, honey, that's why I told you you should never use this last doll. That corpse will never go away. I took one look at Mrs. Gladys, then bolted out of there like a bat out of hell. To this day, I will forever have a fear of using the bathroom stalls. <laughs>